Who decided that starting school at 7.30 in the morning was a good idea? Mm. They definitely didn't start that early when I was in school. So, I just make sure you feel like, though, everybody at Freed complains about getting up for classes. And people are like, oh, I have to get up for my 8.30. I have to get up for my 9.30. And <laughs> oh, these poor kids. Them and all the faculty have to be up and there at 7.30 every single day of the week. Whew. Rough stuff. Food and coffee. Yes. Oh, look at the little penguins out here. All right, friends, it's time to go back to high school. Okay, someone please tell me that's not accurate. It can't actually be 12 degrees outside. Yup. Covered in ice. Good thing I don't have to get to high school on time. You know, it really doesn't feel like it's 12 degrees outside. Guess so. It's been forever since I've had to use an ice scraper. But, you know, here I am, scraping ice. You know, I'm trying to figure out if it's a good or a bad idea to leave my car parked on a complete sheet of ice. I may just move it over there into the gravel. It might be a better idea. Okay, here we go. I'm out of the ice spot. <clears throat> and now let's go find a, another spot that's not covered in ice. Oof. This is rough stuff, man. I never had to do this when I was in high school. Of course, they didn't destroy the entire parking lot when I was in high school, so. Fair trade, I suppose. Now to head in. Well, folks, I'm back here at my alma mater. <laughs> okay, to be honest, um, nobody really checked any or asked me anything when I walked in here. I kind of just walked in, wrote my name down, and walked away. Like, anybody could do that. So, a little bit sketchy. And in the summer, and in August, this is terrible. Just baking like crazy. I am totally just walking right there, doing whatever. I'll get back to you on that. Say, he's thirsty. Then Cat Keller. Good Naz. You travail, you travail à la maison. Bon anniversaire. Happy birthday. Oh, we sing it. Well, returned from school. It was lunchtime, and so I'd stay there long enough. Um, I've been there for only like four hours at least, so oh, it was nice. Got to see people, talk to people. Got to actually help my French teacher. Uh, I got to, as you can see, I sorted all the tests and like paired them up with their other ones and got all that stuff so that he didn't have to do that because he had like a ton of tests he has grading. He's trying to get them all graded and returned by the end of the week because they're going on break. So, yeah, but it was nice. Uh, but now, now I must eat lunch. Mm. Oh, wow. So Ben and I just got done watching Mr. Beast's new video, the uh, last to take the hand off of a million dollars where he gave someone a million dollars. I think it's nuts how much money that man gives away and how much good that he's done to help those who are in need or, you know, have a need. It's crazy. Uh, it's awesome that YouTube can be used as a force for good for like, like that. For things like that. It'd be a dream to be able to do good things for good people by having a presence on social media. Like, the, to the degree that he does. And this is what happens. Yeah. That's why we can't have nice things. But yeah, dinner was fantastic. We actually had some pork chops, sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I don't know what it is about them, but they are just... My favorite thing. Boop, boop. But now on the next hand day, we're going right back to the high school. It's my fact that I spent a lot of time there uh, today, <laughs> just chilling. So, on what we go. It is a mess up here without the parking lot. Everybody's parking in this gravel area that they've like caved down. Whoa. They destroyed the parking lot. I used to park out there for high school. But here we go. Welcome to uh, 
building six. Ta ta ta. So really quickly to explain what you just saw, this was the Christmas band concert that my high school puts on every single year. And you know, it's a big deal to me because it's an organization that I was a part of for six years. And I got to do that Christmas concert four years. And at the end, that very last song is Odd Lang Syne, if you don't recognize it. Um, but it's a tradition that every year our band director likes to close his Christmas concert with Odd Lang Syne. And at the very end of that verse, he has all the lyrics printed in the uh, little thing he hands out and everyone stands and sings it so it's like it's a tradition thing that I've been a part of for many years so it's really heartwarming and like gives me chills to be able to go back there sit there and sing it and listen to it because it's a beautiful song beautiful arrangement I love the ensemble version of that but yeah hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit of my past whoa look at the tears whoa there's tons of them Hello, dears. Wow.